days. Moving on to the day's other news, men diagnosed with prostate cancer are more likely to die from the disease if they are smokers. That's what a recent study says. News Channel 15's Don Austin talked to a local physician about it, and he joins us live from Studio 15 with this well-being story. Well, that reports in the Journal of the American Medical Association. The researchers studied more than 5,000 men over the course of 20 years. They found that smoking makes prostate cancer more aggressive. If you happen to get, uh, get a prostate cancer and you are a current smoker, it increases your chances of dying of the prostate cancer by 61 percent. The study also shows that smokers have an increased likelihood of having the prostate cancer return after treatment. Dr. John Crawford said this is partly because smoking weakens the immune system. Decreases your ability to fight the cancer and makes the cancer more aggressive. He said sometimes prostate cancer is very slow growing, not so aggressive that a man could live with this type of cancer for many years. The research shows that all changes if you're still smoking when you get the diagnosis. But there's some good news for men who have kicked the habit. And if you had stopped smoking for greater than 10 years, then your prostate cancer was not more malignant and more aggressive as in current smokers. Dr. Crawford called prostate cancer one of the more treatable forms of cancer. Uh, as long as you, you, know, you find it fairly early, and that's where the PSA screenings come in. So you need to talk to your family doctor about you know, whether you should have PSA screenings if, if you're a male over a certain age. Parkview Health will sponsor free prostate cancer screenings on August 10th at Parkview Field, noon until 3 p.m. for the general public, and then 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. for men who are attending the 10 Caps game. There's really nothing you can do better for your health than to stop smoking or never start. And the American Cancer Society predicts more than 240,000 men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer just this year. You can find a link to the study at Wayne.com. Don Austin, News Channel 15.